This is Coach Lee with MyExpatCoach.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why your ex broke up with you via text message. Click the subscribe button below so that you can be notified when I have more content that's helpful to your situation, and that includes attraction and relationship dynamics, not just breakups. A lot of times on a coaching call, one of the things that seems to hurt the most is when someone has been broken up with by a text message and they will ask why did he do it by text and it just seems like it's rubbing salt in an open wound to do it by text instead of face to face it used to be that a phone call was seen as a really low way of breaking up with someone but now that has been demoted to texting and so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why your ex did it that way and if it lowers your chances of getting them back because they did it that way. So I will be talking about if it lowers your chances of getting them back if they broke up with you by a text message near the end of the video, but I'm gonna get into several things first. So your ex broke up with you by text message, to put it simple, because it's easier. They don't have to see your face, they don't have to hear your voice, they don't really get any kind of reaction from you. In fact, sometimes people break up with someone by text message and then just block them, so they don't even have to deal with any kind of reaction or hurt from your end and it's really difficult and lots of times the person who does the breaking up does not realize how it even hurts worse when they do it that way a lot of them would even be upset to be broken up with by text and in fact one call I had someone was talking about how much it hurt that they were dumped by text but then later in the conversation she revealed that she had actually broken up with him before and she had done it by text. So a lot of people do it without realizing that that makes things even more painful for the person being dumped. It's easier for the person doing the dumping. That's why they do it. There's just less for them to have to see and actually less reality for them to have to deal with. And sometimes people will say, I guess that tells me a lot about him or her right there that they did it by text. No, it, it doesn't because a lot of times they don't know how else to do it and they want they want to do it they feel like that they don't have a future with you and that there's just no way around it they have probably wrestled with this for months and just finally been able to push themselves to break up with you but they couldn't do it face to face they knew it had to be done some people are just very bad at doing awkward things face to face and they felt like they had to do it that they owed it to themselves because they didn't see a future with you and so this was a way that they could get it over with and they probably felt like it would be easier for you as well that's what they probably felt it's not true they felt like it would be short and simple like ripping a band-aid off but they don't realize the hurt that it causes you it does not make them a bad person and it does not lower your chances of getting them back here's why if they broke up with you by text it means that they were not 100 percent sure about what they did but no one ever is. Very rarely is a breakup done by someone who is 100% sure they want the breakup. Usually it's a slim majority of them that wants the breakup. And that's a good thing because that means it doesn't take 100% doubt in their decision for them to get back with you. It just takes enough to where the majority of them thinks it was the wrong decision and that they want to get back with you. So that's really good news if you want your ex back. Now, if they did it by text instead of face to face, that's obviously a less bold move, a less bold way to do it, a less confident way to do it. And a lot of times that means they're not quite as confident in their decision because it is easier to do it that way. And so they don't have to be as certain. And so that's something that I've kind of reverse engineered as far as figuring that out, because I did notice that it seemed like people who were dumped by text actually seem to get their ex back at at least the same rate as people who were face to face and it seemed like more obviously I don't have a checkbox where I'm checking every person off but it definitely stuck out to me that people who were broken up by text if they had been in a relationship for a decent amount of time and if the relationship was pretty good pretty solid that they had a good chance of getting their ex back as good and oftentimes, if you follow my methods and 
basically stick to no contact after a breakup, your odds are good of getting your ex back. But it seemed like people who were dumped by text had a little bit better chance of getting their ex back. And it was an odd thing. And it doesn't mean that if you were dumped face to face or by call that you're not going to get your ex back at all. This is more of an encouragement for those of you who were dumped by text. Your odds of getting your ex back are not lower because of that. It's an interesting thing. Part of the reason that it might be easier to get your ex back if it was done by text is that they don't get to see the emotion from your end. And so a lot of the things that I tell you are important you don't do, like the chasing, the begging, the pleading, the crying, all of that that sometimes people do. It just happens and you shouldn't beat yourself up for it. But those things they can't see because it's done by text. And so they don't know how you're reacting. For all they know, you looked at the message and said, huh, oh well, and moved on with your day. So in some ways, it's like being dumped by text protects you from doing some of the wrong things. Another reason is because if it was easy to break up with you by text, and it is because it feels less awkward, then that person can also reach out to you by text to ask for you back. They don't feel necessarily that they have to do it face to face. And a lot of the times I speak with people who do the dumping and I will be amazed sometimes when they say, I just want my ex back. I don't know what to do. And I'll say, well, you broke up with them. So really your job is just to say, you know, I messed up. I want you back. If you'll have me back, could we talk? That's all you have to do. And a lot of times they are terrified to do that. They will say, but he might reject me. He might say, no, he's probably mad at me. And so there is that fear sometimes from the dumper that you would reject them, that you would be angry at them because they broke up with you. Well, the interesting thing is, is that if this person does it by text and it feels easier, then they feel like they could ask for you back by text, that, does, that it doesn't have to be some grand meeting face to face. And so the process of getting you back is actually easier because if they broke up with you by text, it makes sense that they would use that avenue to ask for you back. And so it's easier both ways because they invest less when they text. So they text you, I'm sorry, I messed up. I'd like to have you back or I want you back. If you'll have me, can we talk? It's easier to do by text. It's harder to do face to face. It's harder to do by voice. And so they give themselves an easy avenue. And that's kind of what, since they broke up with you by text, they gravitate toward asking you back by text. So it's not all bad news if you were dumped by text. And it doesn't say that your ex cared less about you or thought less about you or felt that they didn't owe you anything, anything like that. It really just means that it was difficult for them and this was the easiest way that they could do it. And they were really feeling like they had to and had been feeling this way for months and they just wanted to get it over with. And this was an easy way for them to do it. It hurts. It feels like this person is just tossing you aside in a very cheap way that they didn't even know you were face to face or didn't even feel like it was better coming face to face. But usually they're not thinking that way. They just want to get it over with. It hurts them and they want to move on. So while it is probably the worst feeling as far as a way of being dumped, it doesn't mean your chances of getting them back are less. And it doesn't mean that they cared about you less to do it that way. A lot of times they just didn't know what else to do. But as I have said, you actually seem to do better and have a little slightly better chance of getting your ex back if they do it by text, simply because the way that they would approach you about getting back together is probably going to be by text as well, which is an easier way. They could write the message, they can read over it and get it worded just right, feel good about it and send it. And it's not as stressful as saying it face to face or voice to voice over the phone. So. You need to look at things from different angles sometimes, and that's another way to look at it if you were broken up with by text. Another thing that I've observed is that when they do it by text, they're also more likely to reach out just to see how you're doing by text. Because again, it's easy. And because since they don't get to see your reaction, they do become curious as to how you responded a little bit sooner. They seem to get out of that relief stage into a little bit of curiosity a little sooner because they didn't see your reaction especially if they blocked you or if you just didn't respond because you didn't know what to say or if you just responded with something that was fairly simple like well that's not what i want but i'll respect your decision or even if you were a little bit more intense they still don't get to see the reaction and so they're a little more curious about how you're doing because they don't have the answers and so they go into that stage of curiosity a little bit sooner 
which means they're more likely to reach out to you just to kind of see how you're doing, which as I've said before, that usually means they're missing you. They're curious about you and they are missing you. They're missing your presence. They're wanting to feel your presence. And so that usually means if they're wanting to communicate with you because they miss you, that you can get them face to face. You can have a positive interaction with them and you can help them to be reattracted to you and fall in love with you again. So that's another benefit if your ex broke up with you by text, even though it hurts and it sucks and you'd rather it be face to face at the same time. Do you really think you would feel better if it was face to face? You probably would not. It would hurt just as bad and it would probably be a long drawn out thing with you crying, begging, pleading, or at least looking at this person feeling a much worse experience simply because it's being done to you face to face. A lot of what you feel in terms of wanting it to be done face to face is because you feel like you could try to talk them out of it. You feel like you could have a conversation about it. And the truth of the matter is that it's almost always too late at that point. Your ex is resolved and determined against you to break up with you. And so if you try to talk them out of it, they just raise their defenses and it takes more time for them to lower their defenses to be receptive to getting back together with you. So you probably wouldn't be able to talk them out of it anyway. But if you did, if sometimes that happens, the smaller percentage comes through sometimes and people talk their ex into staying or sticking it out for a little bit longer, but it doesn't last long. And usually this time the ex is even more resolved and it gives them another reason to say, nope, we tried it again. It didn't work a second time. And the reason is because if you have all these issues going on and your ex is feeling low attraction, the issues and the attraction are still going to be a problem getting back with you in that moment for a little bit longer to try it again. And so nothing's fixed and yet you're trying it again. And so your ex is going to get the same experience and they're going to want out. And the next time that they might think about getting back together with you, they're going to remember, oh, we did try it again and it still didn't work. That's why it's important after a breakup to give them the breakup, to respect their decision, to go into no contact, to experience time apart so that their attraction for you can grow again because they can miss you. They can look back on the relationship. They can see that you're strong enough to stay away from them. There's all kinds of reasons why no contact can help bring back attraction, partly because they realize that they could lose you, which is very important. It's very important that they realize you are strong enough to move on and that they could lose you. That will help rebuild attraction and appreciation for you in their life going forward. So that's why your odds are better of the relationship working when you get back together. If it's done after some time away, some space, some reflection, than if it's done just by you trying to talk them back into it and somehow getting them to agree, it's less likely to work out that way long term. So that's another benefit to being broken up with by text, because you really can't talk them out of it by text. You might try, but it's going to be less likely. They're going to be able to just put the phone down to walk away to scroll past or to block you. And usually people realize that they're probably not going to get anywhere by text. Hopefully. Now, if you did mess up, I have some other videos. One of them is called, did I ruin it with my ex? And I have some videos on what to do if you begged and pleaded. And then I have my emergency breakup kit, which goes into what to do if you've begged and pleaded and cried and just really hurt things and done the wrong things after a breakup. And you can find more information about that at my where you can also schedule a coaching call with me. So remember, if you were broken up with by text, though it may hurt, it does not say that your ex thought less of you or that they didn't respect you as a person. It just means that it was very difficult for them and that they didn't know any other way to do it. And this way they would save themselves some pain. And it also means your odds are slightly better of getting them back and of them reaching out to you because of the reasons I've mentioned in this video. You can schedule a coaching call with me at myexpatcoach.com or you can get more information about my emergency breakup kit. And there's also a link to that kit in the description below. This has been Coach Lee with myexpatcoach.com. Thank you for watching.